Hello, interweb of souls. It's Vale, probably better known as Glissenerdorf. Today we're going to try to figure out if control exists in standard, which clearly it doesn't. Maybe maybe it should. I, I don't know. Azorius control. It's really bad. But the good news is, you know, I'll show you the deck list for a second. Good news is our planeswalkers are pretty good. We have Wandering Emperor, who's an all-star in literally everything, including mono black decks. Um, and we have Teferi, Temporal Pilgrim. And I've just deleted him because I'm smart. Anyway, our planeswalkers are good. Our removal is okay. The main problem with control right now, I think, is the fact we don't have sweepers. Like, literally, there are no sweepers. In all of standard. We have Urza's soup bowl. His bowl that he uses to drink soup. But it looks way too fancy to drink soup. Urza needs to get his priorities straight. He does not need that fancy a soup bowl. Anyway, that's our only sweeper. Our planeswalkers are fine. Our finisher is finish. We're going to see if control exists. And I'm not talking about Grixis. Which some people say is control, but really is just an abomination of all that is magic. That said, I play Grixis. Frequently. Alright, let's go. This hand is awful, but I'm gonna keep it. I mean, if we find a white source, it's fine. Alright, so turn one fading hope isn't bad. Opponent seems to be on Gruel. What is this card? Canker Bloom? I'm just gonna bounce it. I don't even care what it does. I do not need more islands. Ah, okay. Let's set a stop on main phase to make our opponent think we have something. I guess we can. I guess we don't need to do that because we can activate our blast zone. Give it a half a counter. Please, white man. Oh my God. I guess it's a blocker. I'm just gonna play this Mishra's Foundry. Put half a counter on my blast zone. You know what? I'm actually gonna put a counter on my blast zone. Pop off, opponent. Okay, so now we have... Urza's commands, if we need it. Otherwise, we can deluge. Try to find a white source. See why this deck is so bad? Our opponent is a land job, isn't they? It's good for us, I guess. Do we Urza's commands? Eh, it's just deluge. My god. Okay, let's take the negate. Yeah, no, let's take the island so we can then to the ferry. Negate an island. Bloated. Yeah, that's a good magic card. Oh my god, we found white mana. What is happening? The world is ending. It's cool looking contaminator. This canker bloom is going to be the death of me. I guess we can jump with our foundry? I don't... I don't know. I mean, we're gonna jump with the foundry. Or trade, I guess. Please, no pump spells. That's the end of us. Because then we can play Teferi on an empty board, which isn't bad. Hopefully an empty board? Yeah, yeah, that's a good card. Miglaw's Maze Crusher. I'm gonna pay mana for a march of otherworldly light. Oh, guess what? I can put zero counters in my blast zone. Evolved Spinoderm. Why don't I just keep playing threats and we can't even play her to fairy? Uh, we're working toward the cityscape leveler. I guess we can play the Spirit and Chunt? That doesn't seem very good, though. 
Do what you gotta do. Carrie's voice is great, but the Phyrexian voices all sound the same. It's the problem. It's the one problem with the Magic Arena economy. The voices of the Phyrexian Planeswalkers all sound the same. Well, Luke, Lucas is cool. Lucas is cool. Oh my god, it's Gruel Fight Club. Can she even try to get so close when those creatures fight each other? Alright, not much I can do about that, so. Oh, well, I could put zero counters in my blast zone in my response. Seems good. See, this is the problem. We don't have the sweeper. And the soup bowl. We don't have the soup bowl. No soup bowl. At its own face. And we are two lands away from the cityscape level, but I don't think it's going to be quick enough. So much blue mana. I guess this is command can do work. Kind of. I just legend roll to fairy and like make more chump walkers to try to get to this leveler. Seems good. Shut up, Teferi. I need you to stop talking, buddy. What is this background supposed to be? Is this Dominaria? Is this ancient Dominaria? At least the Phyrexian ones you can recognize. Opponent is salty scooping? Another evolved Spinoderm pop off. I mean, you can kill our de wow, face with everything. We're more or less dead here. Are we dead here? Does this have trample? Yeah, I guess we're not literally dead. Pretty close. We do have a negate in hand. What does this one do? Run. <laughs> what a blowout. Yeah, that card's insane. So, I think we have to block in a very specific way. Yeah, I think that puts us to one. The only thing we can target is Megawas. Is that enough hog trample? We just die, right? Yeah. Control's bad. Alright, let's try this again. I really have not been very impressed with Teferi. In standard right now. I Everybody thinks he's a good play. Well, I like him in EDH. I like him in my uh, Quasa deck, but... I don't think he protects himself enough. I have seen him pop off against me. Spear got to like 15-15 and they ultimated him twice, but I don't know. Circle just always seems behind. As you saw in the last matchup. I think there are too many big threats in standard right now for a control deck to really be viable. And it's aggro, and we are preemptively dead. <laughs> R 
reckless impulse. Finds a mountain and a, what is this guy? Bloody betrayal. Seems bad. Uh, you know, I'm tempted to just actually get rid of this Kumano. The only threat our opponent presented so far. Another impulse. Okay, so there's the burn. <laughs> well, we miss a land drop. We don't salty scoop because we're not zoomers. We're not zoomers around here. We're legitimate magic players. Nothing I can do about that. Well, we hit the land drop. We can play Urza's command on our opponent's turn. And this card is literally bad, I think. All right. The car and strap, scry. Yeah, memory deluge isn't bad. That's a waste of a removal spell. Oh my god. I think we need a memory day lose just to try to hit our hit. Oh my god. Okay. Now we're discarding the hand size. Our opponent's not doing much either, though. Got lots of burn. Is it prowess? Haven't seen any prowess creatures. Do you have counter magic too? No. That might give us a shot. They can't remove both threats with one burn spell, so we'll see. They can probably remove both threats with two burn spells. <laughs> two obliterating bolts. That'll get the, the, the job done. Maybe we shouldn't have discarded the second fairy. There's the, I mean, we hit our land draw. I, mean, I don't even know what our opponent's doing. A little worried about something giant coming down there. Getting toward the range. That's, I mean, that's a Kumano. Do I even bother? No. I mean, our opponent's not going to play anything big. We might as well use this destroy evil on the Kumano. <laughs> I mean, I will get in with my card instruct. <laughs> Pass the turn. Do you have this offer you can't refuse? Soup bowl! We're drinking soup! Get in with the card instruct. It's getting bigger. Can you beat the card instruct? I don't even... What is our opponent doing? They just keep passing. Um... Maybe they're not playing today? I don't know. I mean, we're just going to keep doing this until our opponent plays things, in which case we'll activate the suit. Well, opponent scoops it up. We got there. Zorius Control taking down another nameless deck that probably isn't in standard for a reason. But we'll take the victory is where we can get them. Um, Let's try this a couple more times. We haven't seen Wandering Emperor yet. She's obviously busted. Fundamentally ripped in half. Oh my god, our opponent's a zoomer. This hand is... bad. This hand is worse. Alright, keeping the five... Five card hands. I mean, we've got good cards. We're hitting our land drops? Maybe, maybe it'll work. You never know. Lunark Veteran. Pun is playing a life game? Strange. I mean, 
we have Wanderer mana in hand. If our opponent does nothing, we'll just slam this Wanderer, make a Samurai, start clocking. It's a slow clock, but it's a clock. Opponent's missing land drops. Discarding the hand size. I think another samurai. Quicken the clockening. Definitely a word. Clockening. I mean, we're in a pretty good spot despite our lack of any sort of blue mana. <laughs> More planes! Go, go, planes! I swear if we win this, it just proves. How good Wanderer is, right? It's true that our opponent is missing land drops. I'm gonna blink the samurai. Yeah, okay. At least you can tell if this is a Crimson Vow background. Adeline. We're going to use our one piece of removal. More blue cards! Yay! You can play blue cards with planes, right? Well, our opponent's done with having mana problems. Looks like Esper midrange to me. Oh, another wonder. That's good. Um. Gotta really quicken this up because this restoration is gonna flip and we don't have removal at the moment. I mean, we have very close to lethal next turn. If our opponent plays nothing. Which is definitely not too much to hope for that our opponent plays nothing the entire game. Oh, yay, board wipes. Well, that just basically means we lose, I think. This is Vigilant, so it dodges Wanderer. I mean, if we draw some big haymaker, then maybe we don't lose. Super! We can sweep the board. Question is, do we do it now? Or do we want to wait until we can tutor up? I think we only run two wanderers, so let's just go ahead and do it now. Yeah, there is farewell, but, and obviously it's a great board wipe, but I thought it's too expensive to stop the aggro decks. Talking about like Wrath of God style board wipes. Wow, sacrificing fair basilica. Before the sign of desperation was cycling your triumphs, now it's sacrificing your uh, spheres. Well, opponent has wandering emperor. I mean, that doesn't... Arch doesn't hit walkers, so we're basically just screwed now. I think. Makes them think we have something. Like a mono-white counter spell. Manatizers and standard, guys! <laughs> Yeah, we just did not draw blue mana. I'm gonna try to get rid of Wanderer. And then hope we hit removal for the samurai. It's a pretty slow clock, girl. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Do we 
we just scoop at this point? Yeah, seems good. We're going to play one more game with Azorius Control and see if we can get to any of our finishers. And after that, we'll uh, pronounce the verdict, which will likely be the Azorius Control is guilty of being worse than Invoke Despair. Invoke Despair is better than our entire deck. That said, I play Invoke Despair. This is a playable hand, barely. I, I've got to say, I'm loving this new Phyrexian board. Okay, so our opponent has a turn one token. We will play this plane so we can march him with a more blue light. Got wanders, we got counter magic, we got removal. It's looking pretty good if we can hit a second white source. I don't know, is it Fight Club Obliterator? Obliterator Fight Club? Golgari Control? I don't know. Both just passing back, so. We are three lands away from this one with the multiverse. Are we both playing control? What is going on in this game? Well, we'll see whose finisher is better. Might as well play this Wanderer, though. What is this deck our opponent's playing? Maybe it's Fight Club, Obliterator Fight Club, but they don't have Obliterator. They don't have Obliterator mana? I don't know. It's the only Golgari deck I've really seen instead. And it's also kind of a graveyard deck. There's Fight Rigging too, but it definitely doesn't seem like Fight Rigging. Obliterator Rod Priest? Isn't that like only a combo piece? I mean, we will get rid of it, I think. I think it's worth it. That thing's actually really scaring me, so. There are turn three combo kills in standard with that card. Get in there, samurai. It's our win con. At least we have creatures. We're not to fairy players. Oh, shield defeating. That's actually pretty good. Maybe they should reprint to fairy, hero of Dominaria. That's what we make this deck better. I'm gonna get toward this one with the multiverse slowly. One land away! I mean, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, yeah, that's a good card. But, we have removal! Control! That said, most Grixis decks play more removal than we do right now. We got there! Control! And now we have to play one more game to see if our um, win percentage in this very small sample is going to be Above or below 50%? Right now it's right at 50%. Which seems about right. Wandering Emperor is obviously great. We haven't really seen any of our finishers yet. Like one with the multiverse. Hole Break Horror. We are on the draw here. This board looks like a pen, I think. And uh, we have removal. And we have Teferi. Sure.
So you know what? I'm off meta deck so far. See if we can take down Mono Black, if that's what this is. Yep, Mono Black. Tenacious Corn Dog. Too many corn dogs. People have compared Corn Dog to uh, Dark Confidant. It's that good. I don't know if it's worth it to pitch that. Uh, let's go, Gary. Interesting. More corn dogs. I can't keep up with the supply chain of corn dogs. These corn dogs are going to beat us. Slow you down a bit and uh draw a card. The Soup Bowl of Dreams and Magic. <laughs> Is this gonna be for Rexine Obliterator? This does look like a, an obliterator deck if they're running bushwhack, so Are we gonna get flawless victory? Okay, invoke. Yeah, that's pretty much a flawless victory too. Windmill Fleming, the soup bowl of dreams and magic. Can I beat two corn dogs? <laughs> yeah, we seem pretty dead here. Our opponent has another. I guess they don't have the mana for that. But they can still blitz this underdog. We're down to two. And we can't deal with that. We need to find an answer right now. Oh, one mana short. Um, that's game, right? All right, GG's. So as we saw here today, control is bad. We don't have quick sweepers, except depopulate, which extra card, not for me. We do have pretty good planeswalkers. We don't have great spot removal. Just doesn't seem quick enough, good enough. The finishers also leave something to be desired. Wizards, reprint Safari, Hero of Dominaria. Now. I want to be a scumbag like I was in Dominaria standard. Alright, that's all for today. Don't play control. And don't call your Grixis midrange deck Grixis control. It offends me deeply.